Welcome to our House to Home series. We are so excited to take you along this journey of transforming our new house into a home. Getting the keys to this space has been such a blessing and we're incredibly grateful for this opportunity. There's so much to do to make it our own, from cleaning and organizing to decorating and adding those special touches that reflect who we are as a family. Guys, this is just the beginning, and we can't wait to share every step of this process with you. So grab a cup of coffee, get cozy, and let's get started. Project manager said they should be done with all of this. So two days before closing, there was a leak in our second floor bathroom and it just so happened to be a fluke incident. There wasn't a deeper problem, but because there was no one in the house, it went on for a few days and that's why the sellers had to fix it. Guys, we just came in and see that our house has been cleaned. This is so cute. I love this. They cleaned the carpets. They left us with a carpet and upholstery spot cleaner, a yellow rose. Oh, this is so nice. I'm waiting for, um, 
another contractor to come. So let me touch the carpets. It smells really good. At first I walked in, I'm like, I know something smells different. You could tell they vacuumed. Yes. Carpet clean and beer tings and beer tings. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm liking. Good morning. Hi, guys. So, you know, we're official homeowners now. Um, pardon the hair. Just took my hair out because I'm in some braids. Um, and so this morning, we are getting a new AC pan installed because um, like three days after we purchased our house, our AC unit is perfectly fine, but something fell from the ceiling or from the roof. Um, I think he says like a filling of some sort that fell that goes in between like the ceiling and the plywoods it fell on top of the AC unit and he believes that could have caused it to freeze up or something because it fell on top um, and the pan our inspector did say it was rusty so there's no other indication of anything else breaking other than that the rusty pan might have had a hole so it completely leaked through the ceiling into our bedroom and created a ginormous repair um, opportunity. So basically it costs us $296 just to get them to look at the AC and figure out what the problem was. Um, and then it's now costing us $840 to replace the pan. So this is what they say when you become a homeowner, <laughs> things just like, money just goes here and there and everywhere so you need to be prepared for that um so yeah three days in and here we are repairing um in the middle of us actually interviewing um contractors to redo our kitchen um so yeah it made me definitely feel like maybe we shouldn't be spending money frivolously at all right now because yeah it's a rude awakening these are the realities of home ownership. What's up, man? We just came back to the house. We checked in on the cabinets. They went to do some pricing and some measurements for the cabinet, backsplash, and future products we might use. They seem like a one stop shop, so stay tuned and let's see what happens. But so far, things are moving along. Get them painted. We just got them looked at. Oh, they gotta empty that still. All right, guys, so I'm here with my man, Wilsini. He just finished doing some estimates for me real quick. You know what I mean? He said he could also help us take care of that problem that we discovered. So we just going step by step, trying to get everything knocked out before we get it done, all right? Yeah. All right, guys. So we use this app called Thumbtack and we were able to meet with a few contractors to choose from in terms of pricing. I think we met with about four different painters and they all seemed very qualified and um you know pricing was equally as good between all of them it just it came down to the products that they were using whether it was toxic um and we wanted to make sure we're making the right decisions for our home we ended up going with uh the guy travis just showed you rossini because he mentioned that he would be able to do the painting he would also paint all of our cabinets in our bathroom and fix the ceiling in our bedroom and that cost would only be five thousand dollars so we went with him we also liked his energy and we're you know big uh, advocates for feeling out people's vibes when you're letting them into your home so that's what's next in this video we really hope that you enjoy the transformation
All right, guys, it's go time. We have Rossini here. Hello. And we are getting ready to do the bathroom vanity and the kitchen. Gabriel. Hi, Marcos. Hi, Gabriel. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. It's go time, guys. It is day two of construction. Well, not construction. Day two of kitchen renovation and so we also have another worker coming today from Thumbtack and he is an electrician and he's going to be moving um, an outlet for us to go on top of the fireplace because right now um, the outlets are to the bottom of the fireplace to the right and so you'll have to like have the TV cords coming down and around which I imagine is going to be very ugly. So um, we don't want that, and so we're going to get him to do that. So we're here waiting for him. He's supposed to be here at 9 a.m. Hi, baby. Hey. How do you feel? Cool. Day two of work. Yeah. All right. We're waiting for the electrician. The oh, that's so sweet. So he's out for the summer right now. He is. He is. Luckily, I got him, Dad. We have a YouTube channel. Okay. this big board you mean um right here there's an outdoor box right here oh okay. and when i was trying to fish the wire through it was just hitting that box over it i would have never oh, so i just cut already. out yeah it's already up and running oh. and working so um, it's it's big. Got, i didn't even see it it's got power <laughs> all right guys so this is day seven of construction and pretty much things are going good oh my Because I saw the cabinets in the front. Oh my goodness, it looks so good already. Oh, this is awesome. Guys, there were big yeah, holes here tough. and it's now Daddy, all fixed. Daddy, isn't this for the um, Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. I love the color. Pretty. I love it. Yeah, Taylor, that's your blue. You love it? <laughs> All right. It's okay. We're going to get it cleaned. Wicked blue. Yeah. Okay, we have the new refrigerator and stove coming in. Guys, 
guys, just a quick update. So we're here in the house. You can see that the cabinets look different. It's already so much brighter. Um, I took a chance on getting this gas stove because our electric company says the house is, has natural gas anyways. And I asked the guy who was supposed to install the stove and he said, yeah, well, typically there's an outlet there, which means that, and the gas line, the gas meter is directly on the other side of the wall. So he was like, yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. But the gas plumber is here and he's like, well, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any wiring. So we would literally have to, if there was a crawl space, they could go under and just, it's a simple thing, but he would need to be able to go through the wall. So, oh my gosh. Seems like I'm not gonna have a gas stove, but I'm not giving up just yet. I'm gonna let him know, let him tell us how much money it's gonna be, or if it's even doable. And then if it's not, we call it a day. You know what I'm saying? yeah happy saturday morning guys as you can see i'm in the house um i came to check on a few things we have all these other appliances here new stove here uh the gas line was installed yesterday so i wanted to see what it looked like because we actually never came back to check it out you can see here that wasn't so bad or i don't know how they do this stuff but it's here now and that seems like a one two three job for me so basically right now we're waiting for the inspector to come to make sure that it's actually done properly and then we'll be moving in setting up our gas stove you guys just don't know how excited i am for this so excited Okay guys, for the sake of time, I'm gonna quickly go through some of the other home improvements that we did um, in the short 23 days. So hubby went to St. Thomas for Carnival uh, for a few days, and so I took the time to schedule a landscaper through the Thumbtack app yet again, and this was about $189 for them to remove a lot of the weeds um, and trim up a lot of things that just weren't done in the last 20 days. Uh, it The grass grew on us really quickly, y'all, so I'm so glad we were able to do that. One of the other things I was so proud of is getting a new washer and dryer while he was away. Y'all, he wanted us to keep these dingy looking washers and dryers. They had like three dogs here, and if you looked into the washer, oh my gosh, you'll just see, just disgusting. Anyways, so I asked one of the landscapers to help me move it out because this was the day that the new ones were going to be delivered. And I needed to make sure it was there before he returned from St. Thomas. If you know, you know. Yeah, so I just wanted to clean up this area and get them out. I actually gave these to the landscapers for free because they helped me. So, yeah. husband leaves town you become a rebel yeah so our new washer and dryers are being installed and guys I love these washers and dryers they're Samsung brand front loaders smart Wi-Fi enabled and these guys brought them in like it was a piece of cake but I realized that the strap on their back helped them to harness it a little bit better. So it was delivered smoothly, no dents or anything. All right guys, so this is an air purifier 
and it's one of the first things that I think that you should get when you're moving into a new space um, because you don't know what or who is in the space before your, you know, just the air quality. And so, as you can see, it's been, we're on week three and we have not moved in yet. <laughs> Um, because I feel like there's some important things that we need to do. And so I'm cleaning, I'm getting the windows deep cleaned. Um, now I'm actually focusing on clearing the air. We prayed over the space. We did a lot of things. Um, but this one I got from Target. I don't wanna mess up the pronunciation, but I'm gonna say it's Le Voit. Seems French, which, All right, so there's always a quick start guide. This air purifier uses standard US 120 volt. Okay. So let's plug this baby in and see what we get. Let's plug this. Or is there a plug? Oh, there's a plug right here. The lights just came on. All right, so. I have a window cleaner here, so as soon as I turn this on, he turned on whatever he's using. So it is not loud, I promise you. I'm gonna let you hear it when his fan isn't blowing. Another project was getting the windows cleaned, and so we had about 15 or 16 windows, and yes, you guessed it, I also used Thumbtack. Um, this uh, vendor charged $180, for 15 windows and I thought that was so worth it because guess what? I wasn't gonna do it, okay? So if he's gonna take that work off my hands, I'm gonna go ahead and spend that money and he was very efficient, got it done in just about two hours. The next thing on the list, uh, because air quality, as I said before, is so important, we got someone to clean our air vents again because there were three dogs that lived in this home we wanted to make sure that the vents were fully clean for us to inhabit our new home <music> 